All right, I'm going to do a poem called um, Lord of the Pen. Mm. The reason I'm going to do this poem is because um, I wrote this poem. I went to Jamaica last year. My family is Jamaican, so I went to Jamaica last year. And um, I don't know, how many of you in here are actually converts, by the way? Or reverts, or however. Ah, mashallah. Okay. So, like, for me, I wanted to talk to my family about Islam, but I didn't really know how to. Like, I wanted to just be like, you know, you know when you can't just be like, read the Quran, you know, like have a bit of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa you can't do that, you kind of, so I was, I, I was every day writing this poem and I was really hoping that one day someone would say to me, yeah, you know, what are you writing? So I could be like, well, <laughs> it's this poem <laughs> about Allah, but um, no one asked me, so I never got to perform it to my family, but it's basically, um, I don't know if it's like a prayer or a poem, I don't know, but it's kind of about Allah. And I think the poem was quite significant for me as well because like when I was in, in the Caribbean, I've never, I don't think I've really experienced being in a country that I found so in, incredibly beautiful, like at every, at every turn. Like I've been to so many countries, but I found maybe it's because it's my country. But when I was in Jamaica, I remember just feeling like, subhanAllah, like every time I opened my eyes, I just remembered Allah, like sight was dhikr in an environment like that. Like, just the sunset, the sun. Like every morning, I'd watch the sunrise behind the mountains. Like even in the even in the ghetto, like it's just lush green. You know what I'm saying? It's like proper tropical, and it, it just it just made me like like constantly be in consideration of Allah. So um, this poem is called Lord of the Pen. Have a few seconds. This villa, Lord of the Pen, and of men and their daughters. Their seeds and of water, of laughter and order, of breast milk and slaughter. Lord of light and of twilight, death and spring, the first and the last, the opener of things. Lord of the tower blocks, the mountain tops, the gliding birds, the universe and its expansion. Lord of the heavenly hosts and the heavenly mansions. Lord of Mars and of Saturn, of stellar patterns that dot the sky like Aboriginal art. You open my heart just a little. Since then, I've become a vagrant just from the fragrance of your friends. Imagine someday truly knowing the Lord of the pen, having a heart so cleansed his throne resides therein. Imagine when this world is but a distant lullaby. Some will be able to see their beloved like the full moon on a crisp winter's night. Oh my, oh my Lord, how can I love you more? How can I make my jaw so in awe that each movement makes music to glorify the Lord of the pen and of men, of the scriptures, of wind's whispers? Lord of the veils of separation, Lord of light's manifestation, Lord of patience. Each inhalation is by your command, each secret of the sea, each legend of the land in your hand. And I am floored by the invitation to love you more. I mean, you own the draw that pulled me to your door in the first place. So now I'm patiently waiting for the first taste. This world of forms is starting to fade and my only desire is your face. So with these fingers made of clay, I'm trying to convey the heart's tongue upon this page to remind me of these first days, whilst my words are still sane because tomorrow might not be the same. And I'm reminded of my wonder years and yesterdays when I sought solace in the scene and eternal happiness in human beings. It's like I've awoken from a dream within a dream to a deem within a deem, where my only purpose of being is seeking the supreme upon this journey. My Lord is turning me inside out, breaking my idols, breaking me down. So now, when I put my face to the ground, I mean it. And when I lift my hands to the heavens, I mean it. Cup empty, please fill it, and overspill from it. Beyond this pen, beyond these lyrics, beyond the world of men and the world of spirits. May these words exist like patterns in the sky or like springtime lullabies or the northern lights. Beautiful, fleeting moments in time or pointing toward the divine Lord of the pen and of men of the planets and the Nur of Muhammad. So, 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 so,